Hello, in this video we're going to look at supply and demand. We're going to do a comparative statics problem that involves calculus. The market for a good is perfectly competitive. There are n firms, each with a supply function of the following. There are m consumers, each with a demand function of the following. P is the goods price. What is the effect on the price of the good from an increase in the number of firms? We want to show our answer mathematically. First, we want to get market supply, which is going to be a summation of each firm's supply equation. And since each firm has the same supply equation, it's just going to be n times s here. And likewise, with market demand, we're just going to add up each consumer's market demand. Since they all are the same, it's just going to be m times d. And we have the market demand. Equilibrium requires setting the market demand equation equal to the market supply equation. And now we're going to take the total differential. Our goal again is to find the effect of the increase in number of firms on the price in the market. So our goal is to solve for this derivative here, the derivative of price with respect to n, the number of firms. So to do that, I'm going to take the total differential of both sides of this equilibrium condition. Starting on the left-hand side, the derivative of n is 1. So we're just going to have s times the change in n. And then we need to do one more thing here on the left-hand side. Uh, we're going to take n and then multiply it by the derivative of the supply equation with respect to price. Then that's multiplied by the change in price. So we took the total differential of the left-hand side. And now we're going to take the total differential of the right-hand side. Uh, I'm not going to worry about m. We're going to hold m constant, so there is no change in m. dm uh, goes to 0. So ignoring that, it's going to be m times the derivative of the demand equation with respect to price times the change in price. And so now taking this second, this second term on the left-hand side and then moving it over to the right-hand side, we have the following. On the right-hand side, I'm going to factor out the dp, the change in p term. So doing that factoring over here on the right-hand side. Just rewriting that last step. And now dividing through, I'm going to take what I have here in parentheses on the right-hand side and divide both sides of the equation through by it. We're left with this. And then finally, let's divide everything through by dn, the change in the number of firms. And we got our derivative that we're looking for, trying to find the effect on price from an increase in the number of firms. So what we're going to do here is try to determine whether the sign of this derivative is positive or negative. So looking here in the numerator, that's going to be positive, so just supply. And now looking in the denominator here, the derivative of the demand equation with respect to price, law of demand, that's going to be negative. So we got m times some negative uh, number here. And then we got minus n times the derivative of the supply equation with respect to price. So supply curve slope upwards, that derivative is going to be positive. So we got a minus here, um, minus another number. So our denominator will be negative. So therefore, the sign of this derivative will be less than zero or negative. So price decreases as n increases. Okay, that's it.